What's happening YouTube Shuboy Boy Tech Tricks back in another video today we are looking at the Orico the Thunderbolt 3 multifunctional docking station. Here we go. <laughs> First, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come up tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my much below at 1130.a. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what this thing can do. Basically, this dock is good so that you can have multiple displays with your MacBook Air M1. And also, it has an NVMe slot, two slots actually, For in fact, that is good up to four terabytes. Today, we're just going to install the two terabyte card in there. So let's go ahead and show you what this thing can do. Here we go. So our SD card right here. Let's open up our Orico now. For a device that can do a lot, it's all metal. Um, pretty portable as well, as uh, you could see here. Not bad at all. There you go. In the box, you also get some power adapter, like so. USB-C cable. Big block right there as well. And a screwdriver for opening up the NVMe slot. It also has some thermal pads right there. And some instruction manual. That's it for that. So basically, you would just plug it in with this. It's good for 120 watts as well. So with the docking station, you get a DC slot right there. So to power it up, there's also a LAN cable uh, Ethernet slot right there for the internet. There's also the Thunderbolt slot right there that will go to your computer and then another slot so that you can charge something or put another device on there or the display. There's also the display port right there. On the other side, as you can see, it has the uh, three USB three right there good for five gigabytes per second pretty good and then the last one there is gigabytes per second there's also another USB-C slot there and a headphone jack pretty nice on the bottom there's a uh, this slot right here for a uh, two NVMe slot we're gonna open that right now and see what it looks like inside so we're just gonna take the screwdriver that was provided in the box here loosen up the two screws so here as we open it up like so has a little fan as well blow out you know a little bit of heat there for our nvme ssds we're gonna take our nvme two terabytes now and we're gonna install it now the best option is to use the heat sink that is provided in the box by oracle right here and i would just put it right here instead of the uh, ssd but you can also put it on top of that it doesn't matter you would then just screw on the two screws back and you're done really easy to hook up i just need to plug that in this will also charge your macbook air m1 this thunderbolt will go to your computer you can also use a windows pc to do this now let's test out the drive let's see how fast the nvme ssd inside the oracle usb c hub now that we have the result it's pretty decent actually you'll be able to have about 2800 there for the read and write is about 1100 which is really nice pretty much average around close to 18 1500 there and then about a thousand for the write not bad now unfortunately this doesn't have an hdmi port but it has a display port so you'll be able to use an external monitor to hook up on this as well as you can see we have multiple devices hooked up to this you can even add another headphone if you want to plug in your headphones there it'll work as well there's another another slot here so right now we have the iphone charging right now right there my mics are also charging and then it's also hooked up to the lan cable right here this one's hooked up to our macbook air m1 and everything is working well and that's it for today everyone thanks for watching i hope i was able to help you on your choice on a brand new nvne docking station also capable of thunderbolt by oracle if i was able to help you make sure to hit that subscribe button below hit that notification bell as well hit that like button so we can beat that youtube algorithm if you want to get one of these i'll link this down below so go ahead and check that out and i'll see you guys next time peace